Welcome to another edition of Fearless Segmentation. Today, we're going to talk about a trend that I've been observing over the past weeks and months. As I've talked with CISOs and infrastructure executives at a variety of roundtables and industry events, I've noticed that segmentation in general, and micro-segmentation specifically, have been rising in importance. Now, if you ask any of these executives, has segmentation been on your risk register for years? Well, of course it has. But if you then ask, but has it been funded? Has it risen above the cut line? The answer is generally no, it hasn't. So that made me very intrigued. Why is micro-segmentation now not only above the cut line, but often one of the most important projects that an organization is trying to accomplish? Well, the first reason is that almost overnight, our computing has changed from being primarily into the office to primarily being at home and remote. And this has taken devices with a corporate trust policy and then placed them on an unsecured home network, where that policy obviously needs to be adjusted. And many organizations are concerned about the spread of malware in a much less secure end-user computing environment, as well as what the impact is of those machines now connecting back into the corporate data center. And it's micro-segmentation that offers the controls both for the endpoints as well as for the data center, servers, virtual machines, and containers. The second reason that segmentation is rising in importance is that the cost of breach has never been higher and never been more visible to senior leadership. Over the past several months, we've been approached by many organizations that are not traditionally IT-driven, mainline manufacturing, nonprofits, government organizations. Their leadership and board of directors have realized, perhaps through the breach of a competitor, perhaps a service provider like a law firm, or a nearby municipality being held for ransom, that these threats are not distant. They're actually at their own doorstep. And so they've come to the position of realizing that the cost of re remediation is much, much larger than the cost of prevention. And so projects to prevent the spread of malware, to prevent the spread of ransomware, like micro-segmentation, have risen in importance on corporate risk registers. Another trend that we've observed is that segmentation is commonly added to contract negotiations for new business or to renewal contracts for ongoing business. This started for us with financial organizations, Department of Defense, and large SaaS companies. But increasingly, over the past several months, we've seen this extend to law firms, to healthcare organizations, and to government entities that need to keep things like police and fire and emergency services clearly separate from each other. It turns out that once an organization has successfully micro-segmented and reduced their own internal risk, they understand that the best thing they can do is reduce the risk at their external partnerships. And so this is increasingly getting put into contract negotiations. Microsegmentation belongs above the cut line on the risk register. As organizations have moved to at home and mobile work, as the cost of breach has become more and more evident, and even customers are changing the terms under which they want to contract with us, it's become apparent that the time to micro-segment is now. You can visit us on Illumio.com and get all of the information about that and reach out to us and we can help you to understand how you can get micro-segmentation accomplished this year. Micro-segmentation projects work, they finish on time, they deliver the expected outcome. The time to micro-segment is now.